Hey guys, it's Sammy, aka the midget riding a billy bong. And today we're going to cover getting the RPG, that lovely diamond camo. I know I've been talking about doing this for absolutely ages now, but I was really putting it off because I thought, oh, I've done it once and I remember it being a bit of a pain in the ass to do. But to be honest with you, to get the triple kill, it did take a little while, but it didn't really take quite as long as I thought it would. So before we go any further, let's go on with the recommended class setup. Uh, this, to be honest with you, there's not really too many perks that will help you here, but I recommend someone's just going to help you a little bit. Um, lightweight and ghost are quite handy, keep you off the radar, make you a little bit faster. Flat jacket can be quite handy as well if you're going to end up on the objective. But to be honest with you, it won't actually help you from your own explosive. So if you're planning to just shoot people in the wall, point blank range is not going to help you at all. Scavenger is also handy because it will, although it won't give you extra scavenger packs if you uh, kill people with the explosive damage, if you actually hit them head on or stab them to get a, a scavenger pack, you will actually get one. Also, uh, extreme conditioning and dexterity can be quite handy just to help you get around the map a little bit faster. I did use Semtexes sometimes, mainly I chose them because they're the weakest explosive, and if someone was using uh, Flax Jacket, it could help to weaken them up just so you could get a kill with the RPG, but to be honest you really could get away without it. Alternatively you could use a tac uh, sorry, tactical grenades like a flashbang or a concussion. They're kind of useful just to slow people down, especially when you're going for the double kills and stuff because you want to keep people bunched together. So um, as for the game modes, um, you could play hardcore, but to be honest with you I don't really like hardcore that much so I didn't really want to play on it. So when I did it I was playing mainly uh, hard point I thought was the best, but ground wars also quite good because there's a lot of people bunched up together and um, demolition as well. Just any game mode where it's going to be with an objective really, so people are going to be hung, uh, bunched around a single area. So probably the best one would be hard point overall. So the first challenge is to get 100 kills, simple enough. Just run around, shoot uh, 100 people with it. Obviously, stick to the right many game modes if you can. Once you've done that, then the rest of the challenge is going to unlock for you. There's really no particular order to go around getting these, so I'm just going to give you the challenges and just give you some tips and uh, maybe some recommended equipment you might want to use. So the first one is the triple kill and double kill. We'll combine them together because they're essentially the same thing. I got mine, um, I can't remember I got it on the first time, actually I do, yeah, I got it on headquarters. And um, there used to be a sort of glitch where you could... I know my friend got it this way. I actually got it the prop way, so I didn't know about it until after. But you can, you could shoot, um, shoot two people, then switch to the RPG for the third kill. But unfortunately, that doesn't work anymore. You actually have to get all three kills for the RPG. So, really, you want to try and um, just think of areas in the map where people are going to bunch up together. Also, I thought that you had to get it all in one go. I didn't think you'd have enough time to reload and get a kill with another one but as you see in the clip which um, I'll, I'll put right here um, you'll see that I shoot one person uh, sorry two people and then I reload and get another one and it comes with a triple kill so as long as you reload immediately you can actually uh, get a triple kill with two RPGs I find that being on the, above the enemies is also quite handy for getting the kills so if you can post yourself up on a shelf above them or a balcony then that's going to help you to aim it a lot easier as well so try and aim for the middle obviously and if uh, you find yourself in too many lobbies with uh, people with black jacket then look for another lobby and also vote for the smaller maps just because the people are going to be bunched up together so the likelihood of you coming across three people bunched up together is a lot more likely and score streaks like the UAV and the VSAT if you really are that good are also going to be handy. Another challenge you need to get done is to destroy an enemy aircraft with the RPG. This obviously has no lock on so it's a little bit, well, a lot more difficult than doing it with the S more the FHJ. I did it on the Stealth Chopper and it's, I didn't really find it that hard. I find that if you're not moving it makes the RPG fly a lot more um, straight. And I actually didn't use Blind Eye but that's obviously going to help you out as you wouldn't have to worry about an aircraft shooting you down. You can also try it on maybe the uh, VTOL warship as that's, that's pretty big as well and I think it'll probably take about two shots to take that down with the RPG, especially with people shooting it as well. But I wouldn't worry about this one too much, just make sure that if you see one just go for it because you may not see another style shot for a while so make sure you take advantage of them. It's also handy to take advantage of cover while you line up the shot, you can sort of look where the, uh, where the uh, stealth chopper is, duck down. Uh, aim down sight then just stand up and you should be able to shoot 
as I said, try and keep still because it makes the, uh, at least I think it makes the RPG fire a lot, a lot straighter. So um, obviously the closer you are to it is going to help you out as well. If you can get right underneath it then you're going to be even more likely to hit it. But it, sh it really shouldn't take that long. Just keep firing them and you're going to get it eventually. And don't waste your time with UAVs because that is so hard to get. It's ridiculous. UAV but I have seen people do it so if you're feeling crazy then go for it. So we also need to get 10 direct impacts with the RPG. This isn't really that hard but it's a lot easier to do if you get up close. Just aim right at them. If you can come up behind them it'll be even easier and just blast them. The good thing about this, it also gives you a scavenger pack so you can carry on getting your RPG kills. So the final challenge we've got to get done is to destroy a car with the RPG that kills someone. This only took me a game this time and I don't know how long it took me before, I don't even think I tried to it last time, but in case you don't know, a van also counts as a car and uh, in the clip I'm showing, because it's from theatre for some reason it shows it has blown up, but I assure you it wasn't blown up before. But I didn't actually make use of this, but I kind of thought of after that if you chuck a shock charge down, then that's going to slow the enemy down near it, but it's also going to give your position away slightly. I would recommend something with rounds that aren't too long, like Search and Destroy, I guess, would possibly be the best, just because the cars and the vans, they always regenerate every round. So if you're playing something like Kill Confirmed, then if you don't kill someone at the beginning of the game with it, then that's it. You're going to have to wait till the end of the game for, uh, for a chance to do it again. So if you want to get this fast, I'd recommend camping near a, an unexploded car or van. And if you can stand in an area where you can see them but they can't see you, then you can quickly pop out and get it and shoot the van to kill them both, then all the better. I think stuff like UAV and if you're extremely lucky and Orbital VSAT is going to help you because you can just sort of look at the triangles or dots and see if they're heading towards it and then you've just got to time it to jump out and shoot it. But to ask you, I don't think you'll be having too much trouble with this. So guys, I hope this has been useful to you. I think probably the hardest challenge is going to be to do the triple kill, but it's it took me a couple of hours to get it done, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. So that's all i got to say about that. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.